Hello mesdemoiselles, welcome to a brand new video here on my channel. My name is Trisha and I'm a content creator. Now, if this is the first time you're here, make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything new that I publish every week. This week we have an interesting topic as usual and that's all about the high value woman and her traits. First and foremost, I would like to say that no matter what your circumstances are, you are a woman with value. You are not less than or more than. You are you and that is the most important thing to know. You are worthy of love, kindness and respect. You deserve to be treated with love and to be honored by anyone who crosses your way. I am confidently saying this because God created you according to his image which means you are wonderfully and fearfully made. You are so precious to God that he meticulously took his time to design you. You are God's masterpiece and you are the work of his hands. God loves you so much that he sent his own son Jesus Christ to die on the cross and to be your savior. So tell me, how can you think less of yourself when God puts you on such a high pedestal? Can you imagine in today's society and era someone sacrificing his life for you or even enduring extreme pain so you can be redeemed and be free forever? When I realize how valuable I am to God and my identity in Him, I directly understood that I am already a woman of value. All I had to do was to embrace my worth and learn to communicate to the world that I am a high value woman that deserves to be treated with respect and love. Whether or not you believe in God, it is important to realize that your worth as a person and a woman is inherent. You are worthy just as you are. You may have already learned how to package yourself as a high value woman or you probably are yet to learn to acknowledge and embrace your worth as well as learn how to communicate it to people. Whatever the case may be, let these seven traits serve as your checklist as you self-evaluate and self-discover through this video. May this be your guide as you embark on your journey to becoming the high value woman that you are. Have you ever encountered a woman and instantly set her apart from others? Just one glance tells you that she's got something different. That elusive je ne sais quoi. It is not about physical beauty or being wealthy. It is a certain little something that tells you this woman has got something. She's self-assured and carries herself with pride. She's not arrogant. She simply knows who she is and what she brings to the world. She's happy and confident in herself and it shows. This type of woman is often envied by men and women and in most cases may be regarded as full of herself. She cares less about what others have to say about her. She simply knows her worth and is not afraid to show it. That is what I call the high value woman. So let's explore these seven traits that enable the high value woman to stand out from the crowd, starting with self-perception. It all starts with how you view yourself. There is a certain vibe of a high value woman that people cannot help but admire, even those that envy her. A high value woman is in tune with her inner spirit. She practices introspection. As a result, she exudes intense energy that goes beyond her looks and independence to live the life she desires. Being a high value woman has more to do with having the right mindset within you than what you have in your bank account or how much you spend on your physical appearance. The high value woman knows her worth without relying on a man to validate her worth or value. She does not let what others think of her dictate how she lives her life. Unlike other women who rely on other things for validation and happiness, a high value woman usually gets her happiness from within. This is why she's usually self driven and motivated to achieve anything she sets out to do. The second trait is that she's confident and bold. A high value woman is confident and bold just like her lipstick. She knows her worth and it is evident in the way that she walks and talks. But most importantly, 
in the way that she treats herself. Such women have usually spent time working to be the best version of themselves by maintaining a high self-esteem. I have used the verb working because self-esteem is cultivated. It is not something we are born with, but it can be developed and needs maintenance. A high-value woman does not need to compete with other ladies as she believes in both their worth and hers. Her confidence has nothing to do with body shape or size. She believes beauty comes in all forms and sizes. Therefore, she does not demean others' self-value to raise her confidence. The third trait is that she's mysterious. Women, we are naturally meant to be mysterious and fascinating to the opposite sex. You as a woman, you are mysterious even if you don't make a conscious effort to be mysterious. All it really takes is for you to relax more into who you are and your feminine energy. Women who are not mysterious are the ones who need approval from other people. They feel the need to reveal and unpack everything at once. They have a strong desire to please and impress people. In contrast to a high-value woman who carefully takes time peeling each layer one by one to the people she chooses to allow in her life making them gasp with delight with each new discovery. She knows how to maintain the mystery by not revealing all of her cards at once. This has nothing to do with mind games. It has more to do with someone who knows herself and is not under any obligation to please or impress. Some women, when they go on dates, they talk so much that by the time their partner leaves, they know not only the things they like, but also their crush when they were in fifth grade, the name of their neighbor's cat, their best friend's zodiac sign, and the fact that they used to play with a doll they named Clara. A high-value woman leaves room for people to discover who she is. She does not force it. She's unapologetically herself. Her body language does not convey fear, tenseness, or desperateness. The fourth trait is that this type of woman sets boundaries. A high-value woman knows how to set standards and boundaries in a loving way. Personal boundaries are the guidelines, rules, or limits that we create to identify reasonable, safe, and permissible ways for other people to behave towards us. Perhaps you find yourself constantly saying yes to everyone feeling responsible for someone else's life or health, feeling like you are never separated from work. For example, regularly taking phone calls or doing work after hours, feeling like you never have days off. You keep giving yourself and yet feel like when you ask for help, you are ignored. Allowing others to determine what you like, where you're going, or who you are shows that you are allowing them to control you and this indicates that you have unhealthy boundaries. With unhealthy boundaries you lose self-respect as you go against your values in order to please others which then leads to you expecting others to fill your needs. It is no one's responsibility to make you happy just like you are not responsible for anyone else's happiness. No one is responsible for the way your life situation currently is other than you. You will never see a high-value woman demanding from others to make her happy and blaming them for her misery. Do not give away your power to others to play with your emotions, feelings, life and whatever you're supposed to have control over. Often people believe setting boundaries may jeopardize their relationship so they are not assertive in what it is acceptable behavior for fear to lose the relationship. A high value woman does not care to lose relationships that are toxic and controlling, relationships that make her feel less of a person. Such relationships are not worth it. Her standards and boundaries need to be met and respected in order for her to invest her time and energy. A high-value woman has an acute preference for quality over quantity. 
she acknowledges that the people she chooses to spend time with will have a profound impact on her levels of success, happiness, and fulfillment in life. I totally understand. Sometimes as a woman, it is hard to say no. It is hard to reject people and perhaps even disappoint them. But at the same time, know that when you say yes to other people, you could be saying no to yourself. And when you disappoint yourself subconsciously enough, you will start to lose respect for yourself. By not saying no, you allow people to step all over your personal boundaries. And that can be dangerous, especially with men. Here's what you need to understand. Boundaries are not meant to push people away or punish them. They are for your personal well-being and protection. You are not being rude or mean for not wanting your friends to call you derogatory names or talk to you in a condescending manner. Also, I have observed that many women and men would settle for unhealthy boundaries because they do not know what their limits are. Knowing your limits is imperative as it will allow you to draw a line between the acceptable and not acceptable. Healthy boundaries can contribute to a range of improvements in your mental health, relationships, and overall well-being. They can boost your self-esteem and prevent harming feelings of self-doubt, sadness, and shame for allowing others to maltreat you. Trait number five is that a high-value woman lives a peaceful existence. A classy high-value lady knows the importance of living a peaceful existence. She realizes that drama is crass and for those of low caliber. In the thick of a raging storm, she stands tall and proud. Tempers might be flaring, voices rising, and fists might be flying, but despite all of that, she somehow manages to keep a level head and either diffuse the situation with ease or leave the scene in style. However, it is difficult to live a peaceful life if you are constantly putting yourself down. Working towards improving yourself is noble. Studies have shown that people who spend time outdoors experience less stress and more happiness than those who don't. This is great as it contributes to your overall aura and happiness. Therefore, if this is not something you're already doing, consider spending some time with yourself so that you can know yourself in introspection. Trait number six is that she can be trusted. Some people are really loose-lipped. You will tell them to not say something because it is a secret and in a week just about everyone around you knows. Her own secrets are safe, as are those that have been shared with her by friends, relatives, or significant others. Don't expect to find this woman idly gossiping about others. She knows better than to waste her time running her mouth up and down. She knows her energy is far better spent on improving her own life, networking with other like-minded souls, or simply keeping her nose out of others' business. She is a person of integrity and finds no worth in trust talking or backstabbing others. Trait number seven, she knows her flaws. A high value woman is not Miss Perfect. She does not look at accepting her flaws as a complacency or a lack of ambition. She looks at it as compassion and self-love, knowing she will never be perfect she will never look a certain way and she will never entirely love everything about herself. But that won't stop her from embracing her flaws. Learning to love what you can change is very important. Feeling good enough and knowing your worth instead of looking at yourself through the eyes of others is crucial. A high value woman embraces the fact that she's a human who is learning and still has a long way to go. The beauty of learning to accept your flaws is that it takes away the pressure to impress people or always trying to measure up to someone. When you learn to accept your flaws instead of picking at them and magnifying them, you create a healthy environment for yourself. You begin to nurture yourself in all the right ways. You become stronger, more resilient, and more confident, 
and you begin to understand that even with your flaws, you are still beautiful and even with your flaws, you are still loved. Flaws, faults and mistakes are the unavoidable consequences of being human. Whenever you feel bad about your perceived flaws, remember and proclaim this Bible verse. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. Psalm 139.14 Do not let your imperfections or flaws define you. You are God's most precious creature. Your worth is not determined by what you or others say about you. You are beautiful whether you like it or not because you were beautifully made by God's precious hands. God knows why you have those flaws and imperfections. Trust him to do his will and you will be amazed because he promised us that everything will work for the good of those who love God and are called to his purpose. If you want to become a high value woman, you need to realize that you should be the only person who determines your value. A high value woman does not allow something or someone outside of herself to detect her worth, not her family, not her friends, not her partner, and not society. People and your partner in particular will always have different opinions about you, and that is totally okay. But this should not become the basis of your own value. Being a high value woman is about how you treat yourself and others. You have to have the confidence to set healthy boundaries. But you also have to give as much respect as you want to receive and treat others as you would like to be treated. And that marks the end of our video for today. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, kindly let me know in a comment below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. A bientôt mesdemoiselles.